Hi, it's Craig again. All right, today we're going to talk about earthing systems on ships, insulated neutral versus land based earthing systems. This um, information has come off my blog, which you can find at craigmiles.co.uk. So I'm reading from the blog, basically. Uh, okay, insulated neutral on ships. A difference between land based power delivery and the earthing system on ships, on most ships, but not all. So the difference between land-based systems and ship-based systems is on land, the, the neutral is connected to the earth at the um, transformer and where it enters the building. Whereas on ships, earthing sh systems on ships, insulated neutral is not connected to ship the ship's hull, which is the, effectively its earth. So on land, the neutral and the earth are connected together, on ships they're not. Okay, land-based connections. The main priority is maximum protection of people and livestock. It's also a neutral, the neutral and earth are connected together at the local substation, which is a step-down transformer, and also where the cable enters the building. So at the local substation, it may be uh, one of these ones you see on the end of streets or sometimes uh, yeah, hidden into buildings. Uh, typically you've got sort of 11,000 volts going in and 400 volts free phase coming out and then you tap off those to get your 240 volts for um, supplying your individual or say 240 volts, 230, it's around that. Um, <laughs> I could go into to, into why it, why it's changed and why it hasn't really changed. There's a whole new thing to do with European regulations. Um, that's another topic. But yeah, 240 volts is what's commonly known as in the UK. Okay, so um, so just to recap what I was saying there. So the main priority of land-based connections is maximum protection of people and livestock. And neutral and earth are connected together at the local substation, which is, which is a step-down transformer and also where the cable enters the building. Whereas earthing systems on ships most ships have an insulated neutral electrical system. As the name suggests, the neutral wire is insulated from the ship's hull, which is the closest thing to, to a land-based earth aboard a ship at sea. Insulated neutral practical differences. On land, an earth fault would cause the, the RCD or residual current device to trip. The system is designed for maximum protection of people and livestock. At sea, the main priority is safety of the ship. If critical systems such as steering gear were to trip due to a single fault, then it could, be poten it could be poten potentially be catastrophic. Therefore, on ships, a single earth leakage fault between the power and the ship's hull can happen without tripping the circuit. What happens instead is that an alarm will be triggered on the ship's earth fault monitor panel. It is important that a single earth fault in an insulated neutral system is repaired as soon as possible. This is because if a second fault should occur, then the circuit will trip, which could put the ship at risk.